I'm telling you, if the city uh, is not on fire right now, it soon will be. If you've been under a rock for the past 24 hours, you might not have heard the verdict in the Kyle Rittenhouse case, or as I would call it, the Crocodile Tears case. The verdict was not guilty on all charges. You heard it right. The Stone Cold Killer, Mr. Kyle Rittenhouse, shot three people, I believe killed two, was found not guilty on all charges. So let's do the the breakdown here from our peoples at uh, TMZ. Now, as of 12.03 yesterday, I believe the, case, the the verdict was yesterday. Rittenhouse was whisked out of the courthouse shortly following the decision. He can be seen grinning from ear to ear in the back of an SUV as the vehicle drives off. And prior to that, this is what really gets me worried. So, gentlemen, brace yourself for this. At quarter to 12, President Biden just addressed the verdict by saying, quote, I stand by what the jury has concluded. The jury system works, and we have to abide by it. So that that kind of scares me a bit when he said that. So once again, just to repeat, Kyle Rittenhouse has just been found not guilty on all charges in the Kenosha shooting case. He was charged with first-degree intentional homicide, which is a.k.a. murder, two counts of first-degree recklessly endangering safety, first-degree reckless homicide, and first-degree attempted intentional homicide pertaining to the deaths of Anthony Huber and Joseph Rosenbaum, as well as the maiming of Gage Grosskreutz, uh, pardon for the uh, butchering of the last name. He survived the shooting. So the last thing that I remember seeing was these crocodile tears when he was on the when he was on the stand and everything and and i'm not even going to talk about the judge we're going to get into that but let's start off with mr gps because i know he's been holding up until now so gps unleash hell all right first things first judge schroeder Mm -hmm. we need to know why out of all the cases you ever presided over where there is a obvious gun charge Taking an assault rifle across state lines mm. by a 17 year old yep. that those charges got dropped. Mm-hmm. First of all. Second of all, Kyle, you have nothing else to do but drive 20 miles from Antioch, Illinois, which is uh, roughly 20, about a half hour from where Kenosha was, to go up here and protect what property? You weren't contracted by anybody. I don't even think anybody up there knew you. Mm-hmm. But you just said, hey, let me get my assault rifle going up there and uh, see what's going you know, see what's going on. Bang, bang. You shoot three people and now you want to claim self-defense. When you brought the gun and you're in the street, I still didn't see you standing in front of any buildings. Mm-hmm. I didn't see you standing, you know, protecting any people, families, nothing. You just rolling through the street, waving this gun, and nobody's the wise. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, Kenosha police. Mm-hmm. Of all the guns that you've seen uh, for however long you've been on the force, you mean to tell me he could walk down the street with a rifle, yet most black men cannot walk down the street with what you think may be a gun? This is really uh, shows how much white privilege there still is in this country. And this can become a precedent for every case that comes before that, or even some that have already passed by, including the uh, the, the guy that was on trial for shooting the the jogger. The, the oh yeah, guy. it's just man. I I seen the people he shot, man. I said, damn, I, I didn't realize white on white crime. You can actually get away with it yep. <laughs> in this country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, I was like, dang, is he? I, I, the the thing that really bowls bowl, me over about this. And let's all keep in mind, man, this, this cat had a nice legal team. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these celebrities that you see on TV were pretty much paying and financing his attorneys. Oh, yeah. So that tells you right there, you know, if Holly was not involved, Holly was not involved. But it is involved with this situation because if he didn't have the money... Or the backing, financial backing. His ass would have got locked up easily. He would have been doing some time. But also, let's talk about 
the civil suits that's going to come up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. They're coming. They're coming. That's that right there to me. If you're not going to lock him up, then take away, fuck his finances up. Fuck his finances up. You do that, he can't, you know, you know what I'm saying? I think the point has been made because you got to make up for life that you took. You got to make up for it. You can't not avoid not paying the piper for what you did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got, he's not doing time, but he might want to be out here trying to find a job or something, man. But that's about how many? Three civil suits, man. He's got enough civil suits, for, but from what his attorney uh, said, and I'm just. Uh, well, not not his attorney. Let me correct it. His spokesperson said, now that the trial is over, that Kyle is going to go to college and try to live as normal a life as he possibly can. I ain't. Ask George Zimmerman. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's, t- he's so high. Not, there's no college, though. Unless he goes to some college up in Montana, well, you're Idaho. Cl- you're close. I mean, he goes way up. So I, I don't even know if he can well, I don't even know if he can really survive in Wisconsin at this point. Here's the news flash. But, he's he's already he said he's going to study at uh, nursing at Arizona State University. Doctor Death. Ain't gonna make it. Doctor Death. He probably make it, man. He probably will because he. You gotta remember, he got supporters out there that really supported what he did and condone the violence that he brought upon those three people. You got, and it's it's sick. It's really sick, man, because it's been politicized now. This is a politicized situation where. He got funding. He got funding, and that's what gets me. I'm looking. I'm like, man, we need to really look on who's funding you, so we can say to them, like, you know, I'm not gonna support you anymore because you're supporting something. You support this type of behavior, this type of activity. I mean, it don't make any sense. Mm-hmm. It, it, I gotta lie to you. Go ahead. Why can't he go to school in like Texas or Tennessee where they got open carry? They might, but but to me, I look at it like this. To be honest. If he survives the year, I not just this year, but let's go one year. Let's do a full year. If he survives one full year, I'll be very surprised. Because you know somebody, somebody's going to try it. Somebody's going to try nah, it. Hey, I, he got too many sympathizers with him. Out. He got way too many sympathizers, man, that, mm-hmm. that feels though what he did was the American thing to do. America. He was protecting. He was protecting American soil America. from... From activists, America. So, so they gonna they gonna those sympathizers are gonna they gonna back him up, man. They are gonna give him everything he need. He's gonna be like an in-house celebrity, man. A conservative celebrity, white winged celebrity out there. Mark my word, man. Mm-hmm. But 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 you know what really is disturbing? I really want to know the whole history of Judge Bruce Schroeder. I really yeah, he was ignorant. Know, he oh bro, he was ignorant, man. I was- <laughs> I, I I really think I really think that you know he was he's uh, he was in the side pocket uh, oh, of yeah. uh, Rittenhouse in some manner by some third party or uh, it could have been anything I mean who knows that's why I said maybe it might be good to see what his history is as far as does he have any like white separatist uh, background in history maybe something like that is necessary to investigate it. and I think he need, might need to be disbarred no, or censured really if that's the word I think it's censured or just no nah, censored it. or because he, he really swayed the case man when you sitting there arguing with the with the counsels or whatever arguing with the other attorneys man you know that when the judge is doing people are going to look at it people look at the judges as, as a role model as a leader within the space mm-hmm. and then see him arguing with the lawyers like that man on the opposing side man that kind of the jurors, the jurors are looking at this man. They like, they like, if this judge is arguing with them, they must be wrong. Then, I think that's what the the cloud that was placed over top of all of this mm-hmm. started unfolding. Man, he should have really stepped down and got another judge up in there that was very neutral and not, not you know, siding with the other party. Man, yeah, that's very true. So the protests have already started. There's a lot of. Uh... Uh, people that are in, in awe and shock of this because like i said before to me this basically sets a precedent in the legal system you know so you can be any kind of a tom dick or harry uh in in the eurocentric form and, and you could just claim self-defense for anything now you can go to a market and don't like the way a guy cuts you off in the market and you can just pull out a gack and kill a person of color for example, and then claim self-defense. 
it, yeah, it, it's it, getting like that. It was pre to me. It was premeditated. Mm. He brought the gun there. I don't think I really believe he brought the gun there to to use it. I don't think yeah. he brought it there to protect anybody. And that and they kept saying, well, he felt as though this is American duty to protect this place. America. And I'm looking. I'm like. He could have came without the gun. So, you know, hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> GPS. I got a question. Yes, sir. Apparently, he was in some exploration program with the local police in his town. Okay. Why, when he got to the next town, did he not report to the police station and say, hey, look, I'd like to uh, assist you guys in any way that I can? I'm mm -hmm. a member over here at the exploration program and any you know, talk to captain or commander, so and so, they'll vouch for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I'm ready to go to work, mm. and then cock it, and then make sure you cock the rifle while you're in there telling them. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. the next time they decide to storm the white, the storm the Capitol building, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get in my car with some grenades and I'm gonna go on down there, and as you know, in my crossbow, and as, oh. uh, as I see people scaling the wall, I'm gonna just start popping them down. But you know, because I'm trying to protect my president, and my vice president. Oh my goodness, do you even know archery? The following commentary from Mr. GPS is not the official commentary of the show. I shot a couple bows once or twice. <laughs> Were they rubber bows? No, nah, they was real bows. They hurt you. Really? Yes. When was this? Yeah. Oh man, this is years ago. There's a place. Um, uh, what's it called? Archery Addictions. I like how you said years ago, man. Yeah, years ago. <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Last I week. I'm really rusty at this point. Last but. week. <laughs> wink, wink. I got my practices um, back up. It's a place called Archery Addictions. Okay. And um, they have Target. They, you know, they'll give you a bow. Mm -hmm. They'll give you arrows. And they'll show you how to hold it and shoot and teach you all the safety measures. Um, Interesting. So, you know, I could just grab me a bow off of Amazon. Grab me, you know. Three, four hundred arrows going down Three, there. Three, four hundred arrows. Okay, yeah. Put it. Put uh, it in you, the. You have the right. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. He has a right Sitting to protect his country. Like Rambo. Yeah, yeah, I mean, come on, know. it's the same thing. Well, guess what? You it, have it's, the right. it's not the same thing. You know why? You say, tell say, us why man. Thank you. Why? Say it with me because you're black. Because I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, I'm dude.